Here's a story from Brazil called The Monkey and the Bananas. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady in Brazil. She had a lovely garden behind her home. On one side, she had many flowers, and on the other side, she had lots of vegetables. And of course, being Brazilian, she had, across the back of her garden, a whole row of banana trees. At the right time of year, those trees grew big stalks of bright yellow bananas, so many bananas that the woman couldn't even eat them all. She would take the bananas to the market and sell them for money. But this little, little old lady, she was very bent. She walked with a cane and stooped over. It was going to be very hard this season for her to climb up into those banana trees and pull down the bananas. But one day while she was out in her garden, she saw a big brown monkey swinging through the trees of the jungle just beyond her garden. And she thought, oh, that monkey would be a good helper for me. He could pull down those bananas easy as could be. And she called out to the monkey, la 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 and the monkey came swinging through the trees of the jungle, and he landed with a plop in the garden. And the lady struck a bargain with him. She told him that if he would pull down all the bananas, for payment she would give him half. Well, monkeys love bananas, so he climbed right up into the trees and started snapping down bananas and throwing them down to the old woman. But monkeys are very greedy. He kept all the nice big yellow bananas for himself, and he threw down to the old woman short, green, hard bananas that weren't ripe yet, or ones that were all black and speckled and mushy on the inside. She didn't have anything. That night, that old lady went into her house, and she sat down, and she started to think. She was going to figure out how to teach that thieving monkey a lesson. Then she rose up from her thinking because she knew exactly what she was going to do. She walked all around her house and she gathered many, many candles. Big fat candles, long skinny candles, little short birthday candles. She plopped them all into a pot and set it up on her cooking stove. And in a little while, all the candles melted. And then she poured the wax onto a board. And after the wax had cooled a bit, she started to push the wax and smush the wax and mold it until she had made herself a statue, a little wax boy. She put some blue shorts on him and a bright red shirt. And the next morning, she walked to the market and she bought a basket full of bananas with her money. And she placed the basket of bananas on the boy's head. And then she set the statue out in front of her house, right next to the road, and watched from the window to see what would happen. In a little while, the big brown monkey came swooping through the trees of the jungle, and all of a sudden, hanging from a vine, he stopped. He looked down there on the road, and he saw what looked like a boy carrying a basket full of bananas. He let go of the vine from which he was swinging, and he landed with a plop right in the middle of the road, and he looked at the little statue, and he said, Hey, boy, <laughs> how about <laughs> you give me a banana? Of course, the wax boy didn't say anything. He was a statue. He couldn't talk. And the monkey asked again, and he said, <laughs> Come on, boy, just one. <laughs> Share, please. Give me a banana. Well, the wax boy didn't move. He wasn't real. He couldn't say anything. Well, when the wax boy didn't answer, it hurt the monkey's feelings. And all of a sudden he said, <laughs> Wax boy, if you don't give me a banana, I'm going to sock you in the head. Well, the wax boy didn't move. And so the monkey balled up his little fist and he socked the statue right in the side of the head. And when he did, his hand sank into the soft wax and it got stuck there. <laughs> you let go of me, boy. You let go or I'll hit you again. The wax boy didn't say anything, and so the monkey hit him again. Whack! <laughs> you let go, boy! You let go, or I'll kick you with my foot! The wax boy didn't move a muscle, didn't even raise a hand to defend himself, and the monkey kicked him hard. <laughs> he was all sucked up in that wax. Well, all the other monkeys heard him screaming, and they came swinging through the jungle. They jumped down into the road, and they gathered round their friend. They wanted to help him but they weren't sure what to do about it. Whenever monkeys get themselves into a sticky situation, they form a committee to discuss it. <laughs> Finally, the oldest monkey in the tribe said he knew what to do. He sat down in the road like this. And another monkey climbed on top of his head and sat down like this. And then another monkey climbed on top of those two and sat down like this. And they just kept stacking themselves up until finally the last monkey was so high up in the sky he could talk to the sun. 
He told the sun their problem, and the sun started to shine very brightly. When the sun was so hot, all of the wax melted right out of the monkey's fur, and he was free from the trap. All the monkeys climbed up into the trees and went swinging off through the jungle, and they never came back to bother that old lady or her bananas ever again.